Go on. Don't be shy. You've also come to assist in assuring Classy's cooperation. Please, after you. Uh, hello, we're picking up some medicine for a friend. Oh, is your friend looking for an energizing mental feeling or more of a full body high? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll send over our expert bud tender who can help you out. Hey, you want to get hot? Oh, hey, Eric. Oh, wow, Tally. Thought you went to rehab. Yeah, I did, but now I'm back in South Park. Clean and sober, almost a year. Clean and sober, no drugs at all. And I tell you what, I don't miss it! And you work here in a pot store. Cannabis, Eric, and yeah, it's great. Now I get high, helping people cure their insomnia, back pain, migraines, and stress, naturally. Did you know that ancient Chinese gave cannabis to their infants for teething? Huh. I have an addictive personality, so I'm cool without it. And now I got a kid with my lady, so better to stay on the straight and narrow, you know? You have a kid, right. That turns out I had one the whole time. I was too high to realize. Now I'm holding down a job and paying the rent. But I'm also doing good helping people find the herbal remedies they need to combat all the modern stresses of a job and taxes and traffic and a wife breathing down my neck about an apartment in the town that we got a leak. Why, why can't you fix it? I'm not a plumber, bitch. I'm a towel, not a fucking plumber. Okay, we're, we're here to pick up our friend's medicine. Her name is Classy. Oh, Classy. Yeah, Classy with a Y with the clit hanging off it, coming around and licking the shit out of the sea. No, 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 no. It's uh, Classy with a dick hanging off the eye that's fucking the L out of the ASS. Oh, that Classy. Sure, I got her order. Yeah, she, she, she likes the banana kush for her back pain and some of the platinum OG to wait. What the fuck? Who put the chillax cushion with the OG mellow bliss? What the fuck, you retards? People don't want to mix their mellow with their chill. They'll get all fucked up. God, fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, hey, Tally, it's cool. Relax. No, it is not fucking cool. I'm trying to run a legitimate business here, and my back hurts. I can't sleep. I got no appetite. This shitty town is so fucked up. We got to buy all our product from fucking sixth graders. And who knows what the shit they're putting in it. And then to top it off, I got a couple of little dick liquors coming into my store. Tell me to fucking relax. Fuck you. You relax. Tenders, get in here! It's time to give these kids a fucking consultation! Be careful! There's product everywhere! Get lit! Uh, you're gonna wish you were a towel! Oh man! I can't believe I gotta deal with this bullshit on my fucking lunch break! Shit's fucked up! But dude... Shit, now you light my stock on fire! Sure smells nice, though. God's air freshener. Burn another path. Hey! Get team. Ah. This is workplace harassment. Ah, you birds! That's why I can't take my five-minute lunch breaks in peace. I have to do everything around here. But, dude, the customer had a question. You shut the fuck up, Todd. I know it was you who mixed the chillax with the mellow bliss. That's a fucking rookie move, man! All I want to do is help people out with their anxiety and shit. Listen, man, I don't mean to be a dick, but when you mix the chillax with the OG mellow bliss, that's gonna be yeah. all like that, you stupid tail! I like my job because I'm so over this. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. Oh, shit, quit burning the product. Gotta admit it's some quality bud, though. <laughs> we gotta burn another. <laughs> I'm definitely living my best life. Ah! 
It's go time, butt lord. will never defeat. Oh, man! <laughs> I was hoping you'd burn that one, too, make it a real party atmosphere in here. Light! Light up that last pile! Oh, by the way, I'm still on fire, you guys. Your leader is, like, burning up here. Don't mess this up, dickbag. Manual. Quit screwing around, Butt Lord. You want to see something cool? Get me some hairspray and a lighter. I'm burning, I'm burning here. Now for my best attack. My best attacker. Hey, guys. Oh. Hey, how you been, Eric? Oh, you're a cool guy, man. Oh, I'm psyched to see you, man. Yeah, this is for Classy. Yeah, I threw in a couple hash nuggets and some granddaddy purple shatter on the house. So come by anytime for a hookup. Well done, new kid. Now get that over to Classy. Here's the new kid now. You got Classy's prescription? Damn well, better have my prescription. Well, it's about motherfucking time. Praise Jesus, I need this shit bad. If I don't get my medication, I lose my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> all right, all right, all right. That's much fucking better. All right, listen, the place y'all niggas need to go is you store it. That's where they taking the cats, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Coon, this is Fat Piss. The new kid got the intel from Classy. Not bad, new kid. What'd you find out? It's the you store it in the northeast of town. Classy says the cats are being taken there. The you store it. We should have known. All right, keep Classy safe. I'll get back to you guys soon. Roger that. Fast pass. Ah, ah. Fast pass. Ah, ah. Fast pass. Ah, ah, ah. Fast, fast pass. Fast pass. Fast pass out. Looky, looky, if it ain't my little hero. Sarge said you helped us out yesterday. Wanted me to see if you'd help us out on another case today. I think you can do some real good in this town, kid, but you gotta learn to play by the rules. New kid, this is Super Craig. You need to get more of your character sheet filled out. Go over to Crunchy's Micro Bruise. Somebody there can help you. Oh, uh, hey, new kid. Yeah, uh, so it turns out gender is actually a little more, uh, complicated than what we talked about yesterday. Uh, okay, um, could you come back to my office so we could sort this out, maybe? Uh, okay, thanks. Okay. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, here, forthy, forthy. The professor has a price on that hero's head. Who are you? 
are you supposed to be? Dork man? Go on through. Hey, little crime stopper, back for more? I got something you might be interested in. Turns out that scum you fucked up is just the low guy on the totem pole. We now believe the real kingpin is over here, on your phone, that I'm holding right now. Thanks for letting me hold your phone to show you this. He's hiding out in some big luxury mansion bought with blood money, scumbag. This is a whole nother level, little crime fighter. His house is like a fortress. Every window and door is wired to a state-of-the-art, high-tech security system. You'll need this. This mobile hacking device will help you bypass the security system. Good hunting, hero. There's a microbrewery. You'll find a person inside who can assist you with race. Good luck. Super Craig, out. And now you got a problem with me. I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity. I wasn't insulting him. Excuse me. Did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired? Yes, he's my friend. I said, Paolo, you look tired. Microaggression! Ah, ah, ah. Persons of Hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy and saying they look tired is a microaggression that will not stand! But I am tired. Oh, oh, ah. You! You're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school. My name's PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me. You want to learn about race, right? Give me your best shot. It's a nice day, isn't it? Mm, yes, very good. That was indeed not a microaggression. All right, round two. I ate a hamburger last week. All right, that was also not a microaggression. This time I will use a microaggression, and you will see how it gives you a free shot. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm about to use a microaggression, but it's only for the use of training this young person in the ways of the social justice warrior. Thank you, microaggression, about to happen. Thank you. My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggression, hit him. Oh, oh. Not bad, kid, not bad at all. Not only is the word chick derogatory to females, but also criticizing a male for looking feminine is a microaggression towards person of transgender. Now let's see if you can spot a microaggression that's more subtle. My pants are warm. My pants are warm. That coffee belongs to Tim Sherman. I heard it's going to rain. Janet likes to roller skate. Mr. Yamashiro is actually a very good driver. Microaggression, hit him. Nice kid, very nice indeed. Using the term actually inferred that maybe other Asian Americans are not good drivers. And the use of Mr. is offensive to persons of third gender. Now before we talk about your race, I need you to get out there and do some PC work for me. I'll let you know when I think you're ready. Remember kid, people use microaggressions every day. I'm counting on you to make them pay for doing so. I'm the f f fastest kid in town. Catch 
Catch you later. Some crazy shit. Maybe you can use your farts to pause time. Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. Now, I got some, uh, some feedback from the principal that uh, our discussion about sex, I, I mean about gender, wasn't uh, precise enough. And, uh, well, he, he gave me some guidelines how to do a more uh, uh, thorough pass, helping you identify your gender. Okay. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay. Okay, great. So as you know, that means that you're cisgendered. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with your gender is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bi. That's wrong. It's bi. Okay. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself, uh, sexually attracted to? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Are you attracted to both binary genders, male and female, or do you find multiple genders beyond the binary definitions attractive? Okay. Okay, do you find yourself sexually attracted to some genders or all genders? And sexual, then. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I'm really glad we had this talk, okay? Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. parents totally drank too much last night. It was hilarious. Hey, it's that girl. Yeah, they're cisgendered. And they're pansexual, too. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Who wants a taste of my sweet berry? Prepare for crunch! Ah. America, love it or get your ass kicked, socialist! Constitution, you'd understand it's my patriarchy duty to fuck you up. I'm big. Oh, oh, I'm next. Ah. I might need a do-over. Oh boy, superheroes are so fun. Take kindly to the patriarch. <laughs> Nasty habit, huh? You are neither minty nor refreshing. Intolerance will never win over. 
Personal space invaders. Satan says hello. <sighs> Praise Satan. Sacrifice a small animal in my name later. Is damaged. Ah. I serve a higher power. <laughs> 